and it comes in two different pieces it's pretty basic this is your top plate and your bottom plate and your latitude like mine like i said mine was 32 degrees that's what this uh I call these running boards. This is what your front running board is going to be measured by, or how big it's going to be. So this is a uh, custom made to 32. Mm. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Okay, the secretarial platform is pretty basic. All it is is two pieces. You got your top plate here and your bottom plate here. Now your top plate, I call these running boards anyway. You got your back running board and your front running board here. And then uh, your front here, uh, you got two stepper motors. They run at the same speed that uh, turn the top plate in your telescope at the same time or whatever. And then you have uh, these roller bearings uh, back here in the back for this uh, this uh, this rear one here. And a feature I put on here was uh, I put some LED lights on here. So um, this thing has tracks for about an hour and I have to reset it. So these lights help me uh, keep an eye on it for when it's time to be reset. And I'll show you. <clears throat> It has two screws on this front running board. One's oop, right there. And right there. This bottom plate here, it has uh, two stepper motors. And this is your front side. It always points to your, to your north. You have to set this thing up properly. I mean, it's critical to set this thing up properly for you to be able to catch those tens of thousands of frames. If it's off, either way, you're gonna have a bad night. And it's not gonna track very good and you're gonna be cursing at yourself. But the good news is it's only two things. One, you have to have it perfectly level. And two, you have to have it pointed towards your true north. Exactly at your true north, not your magnetic north. And a lot of y'all might be going, hey Drew, what the heck is true north? I'll tell you what, I made a little video for you and I'll show you how to figure that out for your area. Here it is right here. Free smartphone app on Google Play that has a compass on it that has your true north on it as well. Here it is right here. I'll leave a description in the uh, bottom for, for you to find it. You just put it on zero and throw it up on top. You see magnetic north, true north, magnetic north, true north. Anyway, free app, easy to use. I'm gonna Google True North Calculator. See what we come up with. We should have a um, NOAA.gov come up. And there it is right there on top. We're going to click on that. And we're going to get a compass. And it's going to be for your local area because it's on your smartphone, of course. We're going to try to get that top number right there on zero. And that bottom number to the left is going to show you where it's going to show up on your compass. And it's going to show you difference on the red. There it is right there, 357 degrees. Got it at zero, and I'm at a three uh, degrees difference. And excuse the socks on my microphone in the video. I had to cover it up with something, and that's the only thing I could come up with in the field to break up the noise from the wind. Before I level it, I'm going to make sure it's uh, pointing in the right direction, kind of, first with this compass. Let me show you this compass. Now this compass the regular old OD green, army green compass. It has a uh, cross pattern or crosshair pattern right here, and it also has a uh, magnified viewing window right here. That you can get it, you know, 
helps you get it right where you need it to be, you know? Really precise. That's in. It's also got a little level there, so you know it's level as well. And then I got this. I made this little stand here to set my uh, my compass on. I made it out of wood and glue to keep it away from any kind of metal or anything, so uh, it won't throw my compass off. Now what I'll do is. I will I'm going to uh, first I'm going to uh, get this thing you know I'm actually pointed west but this is for uh, you know video purposes only I get up underneath here and I make sure this bad boy is pointed 357 degrees and for video purposes we'll just say that's 357 degrees now I use this side glass with the cross pattern on the front and I match it up with this cross pattern I drew on my bottom plate. I made sure it's, you know, measured out correctly to where this is the exact middle. And those lines are good. So I'll move this uh, bottom plate until it looks good in that uh, viewing window there. And I just move it around until, you know, they... Those two uh, cross patterns jive. Well, let's just say that that jives right there, okay? So then what I'll do is I'll measure it horizontal. Make sure it's good and level. Without trying to move the platform, but I still got it up there. I'm gonna double check it. After I get a level, and I'll put the, I already did it, I put the shims up underneath here. I think it's a pretty close, but I would have paid a whole lot more attention to it and made sure it was done correctly. But just let's just say I got it good and level. You know what I'm talking about. Then I'll come back here and I'll give it one more check. See if I screwed it up any while I was leveling it. Which I did, let's just say, I'll just get it back right where it needs to be. Okay. Ooh, ooh, wait. The hard part is over. We got our our bottom plate pointed the correct direction, 357 degrees, and it is level and it is ready to rock and roll. So my next step is to put the the top plate on it. Well, like I said, here's the uh, that remote thing I got for this uh, LED thing. I can turn the lights high, bright, or really low. I can use the, the friendly red color. I can make it bounce on all kinds of different colors. Just like that. All right. And that's pretty much about it. Another thing I did, you see these holes drilled, three on the outside and one in the middle? I did that. So it will fit these three outside that held the feet on there. I took them off and just uh, screwed the screws back in there and there's that middle uh, bolt. So then I just matched these screws up with the holes I built there, or drilled right there. Boom, there it is. Right there's where it's supposed to be. It ain't going nowhere. Now when Mr. Jones uh, fabricated this, his, uh, his schematic shows that um, the uh, setting squares, on, or the setting circles on these are six inches. He allowed six inches for each one. So I just measured three inches on each side. That's where I drilled my hose and I drilled one in the middle. And then to that position right there. And that's when it has about an hour to travel to where it gets to that other screw right there. And when it gets to that other screw, let's just say, 
like right there. You know, I got my lights on. Oh man, it's time to move that sucker. All I gotta do to reset it is that right there. That's all there is to it. Ugh, I got this pillow hit or this that gum little, yeah, little pillow I use for my knees, old knees. But anyway, that's about it. That's old Mr. White's uh, spot right there. We can take some good old pictures with it. Anyway, I'll share a couple of my images I got this year with it. And uh, anyway, clear skies. If you have any questions, just choke up down there on the bottom and I'll do my best to answer them. Clear skies and God bless.